These dynamic events now lead to a phenomenon of exceptional interest. You must realize that the same diaphragm and the same powder are used, but that the tones are different. Here we have a flow pattern. This means that where we had a structural pattern before, we now have a violent dynamic one. The point to notice about all these phenomena is that they can be reproduced at any time that the factors and conditions of the experiment are known with accuracy. We go on throwing in powder, and every time this attractive and clearly defined flow pattern keeps on emerging from the vibrational field. This is a kind of double current, but at other frequencies we have, as it were, a four-part or quadrantal pattern. Here we have a formation with four fields. Here again we throw in powder and once more it is embodied in the exact quadrantal flow pattern created by the vibration. This is a particularly interesting phenomenon because it reveals not only the structuralizing effect of vibration, but also its dynamic and kinetic effect. At the very same time, there is this zebra pattern on the diaphragm. As we slowly reduce the tone, which is a decrescendo to the ear, the pattern created comes into view.